Hey, <coughs> hey, got here the Redmi Note 4. In this video, I am going to talk about the fingerprint sensor. Redmi Note 4 fingerprint sensor at the rear. Now, what we can do with the fingerprint sensor? Let's check. Settings. Lock screen password lock screen fingerprint and let me add a fingerprint now let me add a fingerprint So I have added a fingerprint. Now with the fingerprint sensor, you can app lock, you can have a privacy password and yeah. So how do you app lock? Go to security. There's an app security and you find an option here settings. Go to the security. There is a security app. Go there and you find an app lock. Turn on. Now it lists all the apps. Choose the apps you want to lock. Now, next time, if you want to access gallery which I have logged, it asks for the password and I can use my fingerprint to unlock additionally you can also go to settings and you find an option app lock you can go there it takes you to the security app only and you can list it list all the apps you can choose all the apps you want to lock and you can use them and you can and the apps will be secured and you can use the password or fingerprint sensor to unlock or lock the camera you can also use your fingerprint sensor to shoot a quick picture you can fingerprint sensor can be used as a trigger to take photo So these are the features you can do with the fingerprint sensor in Redmi Note 4. So these are the features you can do with the Redmi Note 4 fingerprint sensor. How good is a fingerprint sensor? Let's find out. So the fingerprint sensor is accurate but slightly slower. It's not the super fast I have seen. So that's about the fingerprint sensor in Redmi Note 4. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our channel.